let's take the following example. Um, we're inter interested in finding out the repayments on a mortgage. Um, so in this case, we could imagine somebody borrows 120,000 euro to buy, could be an apartment or a small house. Um, he's going to, or she's going to take, borrow that sum for a period of 30 years. And the monthly uh, repayment is what we want to find out. So what is her monthly repayment if the interest rate is 5%? Uh, typically, we to work that out, uh, we use this type of construction, which is really a present value annuity type construction, and we set out the following: um, the sum of money that we want to borrow, we would say is the present value of all the monthly payments, mortgage repayments discounted using this present value annuity function and this would be equivalent to 1 minus 1 plus r divided by m to the power of uh, m by n n being the number of years m being if it's a monthly repayment just 12 months in a year so the periodicity of the payment is 12 times per year and the product of 12 and 30 is 360 so there will be 360 repayments on this 30 year mortgage to uh, estimate the value of the payment then we take the race bring over the square brackets it then is being divided into 120 the payment comes to the other side and we get this payment of 644.19 so i've said that here I put in the basic, if you like, the PV is the, uh, we could think, think of this as the principal amount of money that's being borrowed, N being the number of years, N being the monthly 12 months in the year, and the interest rate is expressed as a decimal, so 5% is 0 0.05. If we just isolate the square brackets on its own, we could write as follows. So this is equivalent to 1 minus 1 plus the rate of interest divided by m to the power of negative uh, 12 by 30 divided by 5% over this 12 again. Okay, so this, just that by itself, that's the square brackets. Then to discover the monthly repayment, I think this is just the payment, P-A-Y-M-E-N-T. The payment is equal to 644 because if we take the principal, 120,000, divided by the square brackets, then that's equal to 644. What proportion of that is the current interest? So on the first, after the first payment is made, if we would look at interest only, the interest component of this mortgage payment would be at the first payment, um, the principal multiplied by the 5%, so 5% divided by 12. In other words, R divided by M, and that's 500. And the principal component in the first mortgage repayment, because the principal only would be equal to 644.19, the monthly repayment, which is fixed over to the entire term minus the interest cost and that's 144 and we'll look at that later okay to set this out as a VBA function okay if we were to rewrite this as a VBA function we could go into Visual Basic this is um, this is the 
latest office application for Excel on the Mac so it's slightly different in its um, configuration we insert a module we go open that module and I have code just to pre um, previously I had written code for getting the present value of a bond now um, if we look at this for a moment the what I'd like to compare here is this element here, the 1 minus 1 plus r to the power of negative t, well this is m by t, should I change this to t, yes. Okay, so let's change this to t for a moment, right, just to be consistent and we bring up our, so t, so I want to do, I want to write a new function for a mortgage, this was the function for a bond where I took a coupon payment and I want to estimate um, the I want to estimate the present value of a bond where I was discounting a face and discounting a stream of coupons. There's no equivalent to a face with a mortgage, so we can take that element out. Okay, and we're left with this present value annuity. So I might call that a square brackets SQRB and we take out the coupon. There's no coupon. And then if you notice that there's square brackets ultimately to get the, the mortgage payment. So again I have to write mortgage payment. So uh, we call it payment mortgage M O R T payment. The mortgage payment is equal to now. I have to define. If we don't know, we no longer need the coupon. It's gone, but we do need these parameters. So we need a principal. So let's write in the order that we have here. We have a principal. We have T. We have M in the number of periods. And we have the rate of interest, which I'm going to call R, and a comma, the limits, each of those. And I return. And then I need, so I've worked out square brackets and now the mortgage payment, mortgage payment, P-Y-M-E-N-T, is equal to the principal, principal, that's the 120,000, divided by the square brackets, S-Q-R-B. And okay, so let's see if that function actually works. Okay, so I'll just copy, edit, copy, and close this down. And let's set this up. We'll set it here, edit, paste. Okay, and let's delete that out for a second. Okay, so let's take this out, delete, okay, and we can take the function out. Okay, so we're just left with that, and I'll just drag this over slightly, and then I'll put equal to, and the principal here is equal to 120,000. T is 30 years, so okay, we'll have to change that for a second. M is equal to 12, and R is the rate of interest, so the 5%. So 5%. Okay, we get 500, and let's change this to 30 years. Okay, and we get the same number.
right? So we get 614. So using the VBA function, we get the same. If we go back in and look at our VBA, VBA function. So opening our VBA function in module one, we see that we have function, mortgage payment, the principal, the time period, and being the periodicity 12 times of a year, the mortgage repayment is going to be made and the interest rate is R. And we can see when we estimate using that function, we get the same mortgage repayment. If we put, let's say we consider the situation where we change the term or the maturity of the mortgage to a million years. Okay, essentially what happens is we get an interest only mortgage. So we're a tiny, tiny component of what's actually been paid down goes to the principal, in fact, hardly anything. And so for a mortgage like that, the payment that you're making each month, but for the, in this case, a million years is 500. If we put this to 20, we can see the mortgage payment goes up. If we put it to 10, it goes up. But if we increase to 20, okay, it goes down, 30, it goes down, 40, it goes down. Oops. Undo, edit, undo. Okay, so if we change it to 20, again, it goes down. 30 goes down, but it never goes below 500. Okay, so if it's a 100 year mortgage, or a 1000 year mortgage, or 10,000, or a million year mortgage, then we do get a base level below which the mortgage payment cannot go below. So even though we have an interest only mortgage here, no matter how many years, if we add in, if we make this. 10 million years, right, the payment will always have a floor below which it can't fall. Okay, so uh, for the 30 year mortgage, the um, monthly repayment on the mortgage would be 641.19. Now I should save this file. So let's go back in file save as and again this is office for mac for the macintosh so we save as and we have to be careful we use the file extension that in the file extension because it's um because we've put in code it should be macro enabled so excel macro enabled we should have this file extension here since we added in the code okay so let's save okay and we've saved that and and uh, next in the next video we'll, we'll look at a mortgage schedule and how the mortgage schedule can be uh, set up